<clears throat> okay, I'm going to start whether you like it or not. Hi, everybody. It's me, Tom Dalton, from the PBS TV show Under the Radar, Michigan. And I'm here once again with my cohort in creative crime, Jerry Rosenberg from Wonder Fool Productions. Um, and Jerry, very quickly, uh, before we get started and introduce everybody, uh, for somebody, if they're joining us for the very first time, give me your elevator speech for Wonder Fool Productions and the Fool Moon uh, celebration. And I'll, I'll give you some time. I'll press the 130th floor. There you go. <laughs> uh, hi, as, as you know, I'm, uh, my name is Jerry Rosenberg, and um, I'm part of one of the nonprofit, uh, Wonderful Productions, who produces festivals, pardon my hair, Full Moon and, and Ipsy Glow, um, which we actually, oh gosh, our mission is to um, invite everyone to come and join us for creative, community, collaborative, fun, and artistic invitations during spring and fall and any time in between. And now this spring is one of my favorite events of all time in Ann Arbor, and it's uh, called Fool Moon. And I'll explain what that is. It's, a, it's like a five or six week celebration that culminates on, I think it's April the 9th, right? Friday, April the 9th. But explain what that is and how it's going to be a little bit different this year because of COVID. So typically uh, our, our full moon is we hold workshops, um, luminary making workshops uh, during the month of March. And we also are in partnerships with a lot of institutions like the Ann Arbor Public Library, the Ann Arbor Art Center, hands-on museum and anyone else who wants to become involved this year we are in very involved with um can which laura amtower is here and uh, again um, the ann arbor public library of Shoshana is also representing and the ann arbor art center which gene spindler is very involved with and Kate Higgins, who is representing the Scrap Exchange. Is that what it's called these days? It's called Scrap Creative Reuse. Always in flux. <laughs> so, so what's different this year is because of COVID, we are unable to meet in person and um, have our DJ and our installations in one place and also our uh, beautiful progressive constellations of people walking with their full moon luminaries to where we are now, have been for a year at Carytown. Instead, we are spreading out across downtown Ann Arbor and sharing the love with all the businesses in Ann Arbor because they are really hurting. Um, we're holding, um, we're having installations spread out and getting as many people involved online, virtually, in their home, in their cars, if you wanted to be dressing up your cars and lighting up spaces. Um, and we are working with the kindergarten through 12 arts programs as well, the Ann Arbor schools. Yeah, it's really a multi-dimensional event that, that really embraces the entire community from business owners, like you said, to, to schools, to there's uh, programs that are virtual. There's, I mean, it, it really embraces the creative intellectual nature of Ann Arbor, which I love. Um, but uh, why don't some of you other, we have so many people joining us today. Somebody jump in, tell us who you are and how you're involved. Well, I don't mind going first. I'm Kate Higgins and I'm on the advisory uh, council for Scrap Creative Reuse, as Jerry mentioned. Jerry, by the way, I love your background. I got to figure out how to do that on <laughs> So Scrap Creative Reuse has been around Ann Arbor. It's a nonprofit that's been around Ann Arbor for over 30 years. And it's dedicated to the concept that uh, of environmental sustainability and creativity. So we take uh, donations of gently used art materials. We take um, industry overruns and uh, discards that are headed for the landfill. And we repurpose them, also known as upcycling, um, into creative things. And um, when Jerry called on me to uh, consider Full Moon, I thought what a perfect partnership because 
we have uh, the creative, creative, imaginative piece of it. And we also are going to be very friendly to the environment. And so Scrap is uh, very excited to be on board for, for this. I can show you some of the things that we have available or we can wait till everyone else introduces themselves, whatever, whatever works for you. Let's see them. Okay. Yeah, let's see them. Well, you saw my mask, that's one mask. We have a mask kit. And again, all of these things are just gently used or recycled, upcycled materials that are donated to scrap. Like most of my and clothing. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Here's another one. Oh. So lots, lots of fun things. We also have a lantern kit because full moon, of course, is, takes place uh, under the light of the moon. And so we have, I mean, who would have thought that if we, let me see if I can darken the room a little bit. <laughs> by just taking this gently used plastic container that we can create a little lantern out of it, just with awesome. some um, materials, some crayons and some stuff. And, and this is all part of a, a potential kit. We yep. have the, um, Jerry, I don't know if Jerry mentioned, I don't think he did, but our theme is a mandala community, come unity. And so we have a um, mandala kit as well with just, everything round and fun and just people can order these. These are very affordable kits at $5 a pop and you can order them from Scrap Creative Reuse directly online. We can mail them to you or you can pick them up and um, voila. Awesome, okay, next full moon enthusiast. Hi, so I'm Laura. I work with Community Action Network. CAN has been in Washtenaw County for over 30 years now, and we are a social service agency. We provide wraparound services to families in economically distressed um, neighborhoods um, in Ann Arbor and Ypsilanti. And on top of that, we provide all kinds of wonderful services, education and art being among them. And I direct the art program and summer camp. So we've kind of partnered up with Mary and all of the awesome things that are going on in AAPS. And so we are making mandalas through our virtual after school program. And we're going to take all of those mandalas and hang them in our community center windows to create this kind of like light up wonderful installation. So kind of merging everything going on downtown with the neighborhoods and stretching it out a little bit. So um, if people aren't able to get out and get downtown, they can still see it right out their, their windows. Awesome. I, by the way, I love your background. Is that virtual or are you in a terrarium nope, or something? I live in a Quonset hut. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is real. <laughs> My name is Jean Spindler and I work for the Ann Arbor Art Center. I am um, and the youth programs manager there. So I run our summer camps and our youth and teen programs and our drop-in activities. Um, and so for full moon, uh, well, let me go back a step. We have... Um, during the pandemic, been offering both online classes and um, art boxes that people can purchase to make um, art at home as well during these uh, non-in-person times. And one of the art boxes that we designed uh, specifically to go with Full Moon is Glow Buddies. So in our little art boxes, you can get all, oh, let me take my background off. So the downside of really cool backgrounds uh, is that <laughs> sometimes you can't- Hold it in front it. of your face. Oh, will it work? Oh, uh, pretty close, yeah. So let oh me my gosh. on. Uh, you have, a, you can choose from different lanterns. Oh, there I'm we go. Finally, I'm finally having that flashback. I was always <laughs> wondering if I'd have. Here's the, the fish head. Oh, very cool. So these are perfect to um, take on the full moon uh, scroll and roll on April 9th. You can also hang them up in your room for decoration or for a really cool nightlight and get year round use out of them. Um, you can hang them from poles and walk them through the street, hang it up for your win in your window for full moon, or you can post pictures of the, the project you made um, <coughs> on full moons. Uh, is it the community website, Jerry? Yes, it is. Excellent. And so let me try one more time to... This is with the Ann Arbor Art Center? This is, yes, with the Ann Arbor Art Center. Um, oh, there we go. So there's these little guys. So each kit comes with the materials to make any type of creature that you can possibly think of. 
So it doesn't have to be the ones that we have examples of. There's lots of materials and glitter foam and um, you can choose your own lantern color and make your own unique creation. Um, so we have those available online on our website and in our shop under art boxes and those are nobody's. Well, you can go back to the discotheque now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a little more exciting than my drab blue room. <laughs> okay, and, and last but not least. Hi, I'm Shoshana. I work at the Ann Arbor District Library. Um, and so this year um, for Full Moon, we have a, a couple different fun things going on. Um, one is we have a contest called Show Your Glow. Um, and that will be, um, it starts uh, March 15th. Um, we start accepting submissions through April 1st. Um, and people can make anything and anything to celebrate full moon. They can use their, their scrap kits and their art center kits or whatever they have around the house. Um, and whether it's making a luminary, whether it's repurposing a luminary from before, whether it's decorating your house, decorating your car, decorating a bicycle. Um, whatever it is, making your yard a fun place to be. Um, we, you can submit your photos and things to the contest um, and we will be selecting winners for that. Um, and then we will also be having what we're calling nine days of glow, which is from April 1st through the 9th. Um, every day we'll be posting another or a different um, activity that you can sort of use to inspire yourself, whether um, you want to learn how to light up a wig or make a flower crown, um, learn how to decorate your bicycle. Um, and these are all really short videos that you can see. We'll be releasing one every day, um, but that will all be on the library's website, aadl.tv um, is where you can see all those videos. Um, and then aadl.org slash fool is where you can find the contest information and the videos and all that inspiration. Yeah, well, again, thank you. And, and again, Jerry, um, th this is what I love about this event and about the city of Ann Arbor. I mean, it's all inclusive. Um, it brings everybody, to, well, art does do that. It brings, it heals people. It brings people together. It mm -hmm. inspires people. So yeah, this is everybody from the, uh, all the, the shop owners to the restaurant owners to all the teachers and all, it's just, everybody's involved. And that's what I love. And by the way, I made, I made a puppet for the event. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on. There he is. Hi, everybody. I love Full Moon. And Full Moon loves you, Puppet Master Man. <laughs> Tom friend. Yeah. Um, I agree. Also, it's also an opportunity. One thing we talked about in it is the artists and the makers, and um, this it goes it, music and dance is all, you know, it's. it's this is a great opportunity to come around for one reason and pull you, put yourself out there during the day and let's celebrate the arts and celebrate everyone else. Yeah, and again, I can't emphasize enough, if you've never been before, you've never participated in Full Moon or any of the, the, the wonderful events that uh, Wonderful Productions uh, put on, go to wonderfoolproductions.org. That's wonder. Fool, F O O L, as in yours truly, productions.org. Uh, and it's there's so many levels in, that you can get involved, so many ways to have fun, be creative, and be a part of the community. Yes. And I just applaud all the women here representing all the different aspects of our town. It's very special. Yeah. Where are the guys? Where are the creative guys? Come on. I know. Oh, there, maybe next, maybe it's next week that's man day or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks Tune everybody in. for doing it. I really appreciate it. Thanks for everything you guys do. Again, if any of you who are teachers, you're my heroes. Um, and I mean that sincerely. So uh, again, go to wonderfoolproductions.org and then get yourself to Ann Arbor really quick. Right, grandpa? That's right.